Okay, so we've got some putty, okay. All right, so we're gonna put some school glue and some coloring and some soda together. Then we've made our putty, which we can play with a lot with our hands and stretch it out, and then put it on our laptops. What was the purpose of that? Now, how does that make you feel? It's just that the keyboard was already clean in the first place. Ah, okay, that's our time for today. So after making that last video, I think I accidentally found the worst channel on YouTube. Let me show you. Um, wrong tab. It's called Five Minute Crafts and they've got like 16 million subscribers, which is like three million since that last video. They post three videos a day and they all have the same format, a compilation of short clips, a list theme, and every single one of them has a ridiculous clickbait thumbnail. I mean, look at these. Erasing a cracked phone with an eraser, this disgusting roll of hard boiled eggs, making an iPhone with a glue gun, apparently. They range from mildly helpful to dangerous at best. I need to hire this Photoshop artist. Their videos all look like compilations of like Instagram or Facebook videos because they're all square and none of them are more than a minute long. Oh, oh wow. They have 48 million followers on Facebook and almost 14 million more on Instagram. It really does seem like a content farm. Like this channel must be printing money. I actually totally forgot about them until I saw this thumbnail in my YouTube home feed and I couldn't resist. 30 household hacks that will make your life a whole lot easier. Let's see. All right, so we're ironing a shirt and, uh, oh, you know when you're ironing a shirt and then the color from the shirt starts to bleed off into the iron? That's not a normal thing that happens. Wouldn't it smear against the white lettering on this t-shirt? Like this seems totally staged. All right, so we've got our dirty iron and now it seems to not be dirty with what was originally on it, but we're gonna put some toothpaste on a sponge and rub it it seems like any liquid would have cleaned that off, especially with that sponge. All right, so this is the kind of stuff that we're working with here. Toothpaste again? Like, I understand you run out of things, but who has all this toothpaste lying around? Okay, so this is a normal thing that happens. You, you crack an egg and you spill a little bit of the egg on the table, and then you <laughs> spill a bunch of salt on it and then clean it up. You could have just wiped it up. It's not that hard to clean. <sighs> oh no. They're gonna make a grilled cheese with an iron. <laughs> All right, so you have the ingredients for a grilled cheese, but you don't have a kitchen, but you do have an iron. What situation is this? Are you in a hotel room? Are you in a motel room? Who does this help? This doesn't even seem like it would work. I'm gonna go try it. Tell my mom I love her. Did something. Moment of truth, I guess. Honestly, it's not that bad. I really should have toasted the other side. Oh no. Okay. We're putting a spray top on Sprite, spraying a mirror with it. And that's it? Do you want ants? That's how you get ants. Experiment with activated carbon. Okay, Coke. Put your activated carbon in the Coke. Leave for four days? Wow, it's been discolored. Now, now that's a household hack that'll make my life a whole lot easier. You know, when you have kids to entertain and they're in the mood for a very slow science experiment? Okay, so now we're gonna watch 42 Holy Grail hacks that will save you a fortune. This is the channel's most popular video and has like 179 million views. So, so it's gotta be good, right? It's gotta be good. Views mean good. All right, we're just building a Lego at this point. Oh great, now you have a shitty magnet. All right, how to erase permanent marker from everything. This seems like it could have a practical use. We're using toothpaste again. Oh no, a frowny face on our shirt. Okay, baking soda, lemon juice, toothbrush for good measure. Gotta have a toothbrush. Wash it. I mean, that just looks like a new shirt, but. All right, let's try it.
da. Let's keep going. Fork and spoon ideas. Like for when your forks and spoons aren't doing enough for you. Okay, painting plastic silverware and just making a clock. Who would put this in their house? Jesus, how do you even get into this situation? Who would need this? All right, canned food party. Is this like some sort of survivor situation? Come on. Papa's gotta eat. What are you, what are you doing? Um, living off the land. You know you could just pull the tab, right? Thanks. Also, we just ordered pizza. Can you turn the light back off? No, that's no, no, what? Eight money safety tips for travelers. This seems useful. N never mind. Okay, but how are you supposed to get the money out of the soap? In case you were curious, the comments on these videos are kind of sad. Can I have 40 likes for my birthday? Oh, this guy gets it. <sighs> okay, maybe I'm just not in the target demographic. <laughs> Please. Please, stop hacking my life. <sighs> Are you gonna tell him or should I? All right, this is gonna be the last one. 30 student hacks you'd wish you'd known. Okay, we've got our clickbait. We've all been in that, you know, situation that only exists in a Simpsons cartoon. Finally, you see, I've got all these friends and I can't for the life of me figure out how to have fun with them. Okay, that's not how you sit. Oh, what are they gonna do? What are they gonna do? Remove the chairs. All right, you've got five people in the same place at the same time, and this is what you come up with? That poor girl, she doesn't get to participate. This doesn't look comfortable or fun at all. <laughs> Student hacks. You'd wish you'd known. Or you could just drink from the water bottle that you already have. How is that a student hack? Again? So another thing about this is that they're constantly recycling hacks so they can keep posting, you know, three 20 minute videos a day. It's ridiculous. I mean, I have to thank Five Minute Crafts because if it wasn't for their videos, I wouldn't have gotten the most ridiculous YouTube comment ever. Like, I showed a lot of the comments about the putty from the last video, but I saved this one for the end. I almost developed a tiny bit of respect for you until I saw the Five Minute Crafts part. Obviously, you either didn't read the title of the video or just decided to be a deliberate jackass the title of the video. 20 tips if you spend your life in front of a computer. Yeah, that totally explains it. I'm talking about the part where they use the green gel to clean a keyboard. For a software engineer, you're pretty juvenile. This is a comedy YouTube channel. Guess those are the perks of being a privileged American who could be dumb as a rock but still succeed. Aw, he's trying to say I rock. So that would just be whatever on its own, but then he commented this on a different video. That green gel thing is used to clean a keyboard. At least read the title of the video you're watching, you dumb idiot. What is the title that he's talking about? Like, how could someone be so upset by this silly video? Ballistic gelatin. Wait a sec. Gelatin? Putty. Is, is he? The putty itself? I have to go.